All right, uh, good evening, everyone. I certainly hope everyone uh, has had a blessed day and a, a blessed uh, evening. Uh, again, thank you for tuning in. Uh, my name is Reverend Gilbraham Jr., one of the associate ministers here at Ebenezer Baptist Church. And once again, it is my pleasure to welcome each of you to our online worship experience. Um, and so I'll pray that everyone has been uh, enjoying the lesson I know I have. Uh, amen. Uh, we certainly want to thank Pastor again for such a powerful message on, on Sunday. Uh, that should be up. That message will be up. The service will be up. It's up loading now, so it should be up sometime this evening for those who uh, will go and, uh, you know, just relive the moment. Amen. Amen. Uh, and so, uh, but without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and turn this time over to Pastor Ham. Uh, Pastor Ham, I'm going to uh, turn it over to you. All right, thank you, son. Uh, good evening to all of you who have joined us by the way of Zoom and to all of you who are online. We certainly thank God for your presence tonight, amen. Mm -hmm. And before we begin our study, uh, let's have a word of prayer. And Father, we thank you once again for allowing us to assemble around your word, which is forever settled in heaven. We thank you for your word because your word gives us to know who we are in Christ. We are complete in him. And I thank you for those, as I forestated, who have joined us by the way of Zoom and to those who are online. Father, I thank you for every last one of them. Now we do know that the Holy Spirit is the, is the divine teacher and we pray that he, he will continue to open up our understanding that we may understand the scriptures. And I pray that all that shall be said and done tonight will be pleasing in your sight and that it will bring you glory and honor. For I ask it all in Jesus name, amen. All right, uh, as you know, we are studying the healing of a stooped woman. And of course, there may be some persons who have joined us and uh, don't really know of the scripture that we are teaching from. So what I would like to do is to go back to that scripture and to read all of those verses, and then I will continue on. Um, the scripture that we are studying is found in the gospel according to Luke uh, chapter 13, verses 10 through 17. Luke chapter 13, verses 10 through 17. And I would like to read all of those verses. Uh, beginning with uh, verse 10, it says, and he, that is Jesus, was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, 
there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. You are free from thine infirmity or free from thine affliction. Verse 13, and he laid his hands on her and immediately, immediately, she was made straight and glorified God and praised God. Verse 14, and the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day and said unto the people, there are six days in which men ought to work in them therefore come and be healed and not on the Sabbath day. Verse 15, the Lord then answered him and said, thou hypocrite, doth not each one of you on the Sabbath lose his ox or his ass or his donkey from the stall and lead them away to watering? Verse 16, and ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan hath bound, lo these 18 years, be loose from this bond on the Sabbath day? Verse 17, and when he had said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed and all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things or for all the wonderful things that were done by him. All right, uh, as you know, the last time that we were together, we were looking at the calling for the miracle. And of course, uh, there were four points that we looked at, and I'm not going to go over those four points. And so tonight, I'm going to begin with the cure in the miracle. The cure in the miracle. Now, if you have your Bibles uh, open, uh, look at verse number 13, verse number 13. It says, and he, that is Jesus, what did he do? Laid his hands on her and immediately, immediately she was made straight and glorified God. She was made straight and glorified or praise God. So what I would like to uh, say uh, tonight in beginning uh, at this point is that Christ could have healed her by a word. Christ could have healed her by a word. And not only could he have healed her by a word, he did not even need to be in the same place or city or country. And so I would like to look at some scriptures that show you that Jesus did not lay his hands on them, but he just sent his word. He just spoke his word. And so if you look at John, if you look at John, please, uh, chapter number four, and of course, it's going to be a little bit of reading because this is Bible study. Uh, John chapter number four. And we're going to read verses uh, 46 through 53. And I'm pointing out that Jesus did not lay his hands on these individuals, but he just sent his word. He just spoke his word. All right, if you look at uh, uh, St. John uh, chapter 4, uh, look at verse 46, beginning with verse 46, it says, so Jesus came again into Canaan of Galilee, where he made the water wine. And there was a certain nobleman or ruler whose son was sick at Capernaum, and when he heard that Jesus was come out of Judea into Galilee, he went unto him and besought him that he would come down and heal his son, for he was at the point, he was at the point of death. 
Now, Jesus re re rebuked him lightly because this is what he says in verse number 48. Then said Jesus unto him, except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. Verse 49, the nobleman saith unto him, sir, come down ere my child die. And so it says in verse 50, Jesus saith unto him, go thy way, thy son liveth. And the man, note, and the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him, and he went his way. Now, let me just pause here for a moment and say this. Jesus said, in essence, I'm not going to uh, leave this area and walk all those many miles to Capernaum. I'm not going to do that. That's why he lightly rebuked uh, this uh, nobleman, because it says, once again, in verse 48, then said Jesus unto him, except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. All right. The nobleman saith unto him, sir, come down ere my child die. Reading again, verse 50. Jesus saith unto him, go thy way, thy son liveth. In other words, Jesus says, I'm not leaving here and I'm not walking all those miles to Capernaum. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to speak my word. Go thy way, thy son liveth. Now, remember, we just read in verse 49 that his son or verse of uh, uh, 47, I'm sorry, was at the point of death, was at the point of death. And Jesus says to this nobleman, go thy way, thy son liveth. And look what it says. And the man, what did he do? And the man believed what? The word that Jesus had spoken unto him, and he went his way. Verse 51. And as he was now going down, his servants met him and told him, saying, thy son liveth. Verse 52, then inquired he of them the hour when he began to amend. And they said unto him, yesterday at the seventh hour, note, the fever left him. So it took this gentleman about a day to get back home because he says yesterday, the servants that is said yesterday at the seventh hour, the fever left him. Note what verse 53 says, so the father knew that it was at the same hour in which Jesus said unto him, thy son liveth and himself believed and his whole house. Jesus sent his word. He sent his word and his son was delivered from the point of death. He didn't go to Capernaum. He did not lay his hands on his son. He just sent his word. He just sent his word. All right, let's go to another one, please. Let's look at Mark uh, chapter 7. Mark chapter 7. And let us look at verses 24 through 30. Mark uh, chapter 7, verses 24 through 30. Mark chapter 7, verses 24 through 30. Note what it says. And from thence he arose, that is, Jesus arose, and went into the borders of Tyre and Sidon, and entered into an house, and would have no man know it, and would have no man know it, but he could not be hid. And let me just pause here for a moment and say this. If Jesus is in your life, you cannot keep him hid. He's going to show up somewhere in your life. All right, moving on. Verse 25, for a certain woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him Faith cometh by what? Hearing, and hearing by the word of God. 
For a certain woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him and came and fell at his feet. Verse 26, the woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by nature, by nation, and she besought him that he would cast forth the devil or the demon out of her, out of her daughter. But Jesus said unto her, let the children first be filled. Speaking of the children of Israel, for it is not meet to take the children's bread and cast it unto the dogs. She was a Gentile. She was a Gentile. Note what she says in verse 28. And she answered and said unto him, yes, Lord, yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs or eat of the children's leftovers. Now note what it says in verse 29. And he that is Jesus said unto her, for this saying, go thy way, the devil or the demon is gone out of thy daughter. Verse 30. And when she was come to her house, she found the devil or she found the demon gone out and the daughter laid upon the bed. Jesus did not go and lay his hands on this daughter of this Gentile woman. He just sent his word. He just sent his word. All right, just one more. Go to Luke, please. Luke chapter number 17. Luke chapter number 17. The power of his word, amen. The power of his word. Luke chapter number 17. And uh, we're going to uh, begin with verse 11. Luke 17. And let's begin with verse 11. Verse 11 says, And it came to pass as he, that is Jesus, went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, village, there met him 10 men that were leopards, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go, shoo, or show yourselves unto the priest. Now, note what it says. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. They were obedient to what Jesus told them. He told them, go, show yourselves unto the priest. And because of their obedience, the Bible says, it came to pass that as they went, as they were obedient to what Jesus told them to do, as they went, no, they were cleansed. Verse number 15, and one of them, when he saw that he was healed, when he saw that he was healed, know what he did, he turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. Verse 16, and fell down on his face at his feet, note, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. Verse 17, and Jesus answering said, were there not 10 cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. So we have nine Jewish leopards and one Samaritan leopard. And isn't it, isn't it, uh, 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 I shouldn't say strange, but isn't it funny how uh, 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 you got Jews and you got one Samaritan, but yet and still, they are in fellowship with one another. And they are in fellowship with one another because all of them are dealing with the same 
situation. But as they went, they were cleansed. Jesus didn't, Jesus didn't lay his hands on them, on them. He just spoke the word, go and show yourselves unto the priest. And as it says, and it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. Now in our study, in our study, uh, verse 13 says, and he, Jesus, laid his hands on her. And immediately, and immediately, she was made straight and glorified God and praised God. So once again, Christ could have healed her by a word. He could have healed her by a word. But he did not, and he did not even need to be in the same place or city or country, but in laying hands on her, sisters and brothers, in laying hands on her, Jesus shows her and all of us the value of her obeying the Lord and coming to him, all right? Now, uh, in laying, in the laying of his hands on her, Jesus shows her and all of us the value of her obeying the Lord and coming to him and coming to him. Because note what it says, and note what it says, uh, uh, verse number 12, it says, and when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto him, woman, thou art loose from thy infirmity. And he laid hands on her and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. In other words, when Jesus called her, she came to him. She came to him. Now, uh, she must, sisters and brothers, she must be near if he is to touch her with his hands, right? Uh, 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 she, she, she got to be, she got to be near if Jesus is to touch her with his hands. Listen, people often pray for the touch of God upon their lives. And that is not a bad prayer. But we must remember, if we want God to touch us, we must be near to God. Hmm? Can I say that again? Mm -hmm. People often pray for the touch of God upon their lives. And that is not a bad prayer. That is not a bad prayer. But we must remember, if we want God to touch us, we must be near to God. We must be near to God. We cannot be far from him in fellowship. We cannot be far from him in fellowship. We must walk closely to him at all times if we want his divine touch upon our lives. Now, I sort of like jumped ahead of myself because uh, uh, I, I didn't give you the points that we are looking at. So let me give you uh, uh, the points. Uh, the points that we are looking at are five points. And these are the five points. Point number one, the practice in the cure. The practice in the cure. Number two, the promptness of the cure. The promptness of the cure. Number three, 
the power in the cure. The power in the cure. Number four, the product of the cure. The product of the cure. And number five, the praise from the cure. Number one, the practice in the cure. Number two, the promptness of the cure. Number three, the power in the cure. Number four, the product of the cure. And number five, the praise from the cure. Now we just looked at, we just looked at the practice in the cure, the practice in the cure. He laid his hands on her. He laid his hands on her. All right, now secondly, we want to look at the promptness, the promptness of the cure, the promptness of the cure. Look, look at verse 13 again, the promptness of the cure. Look at verse 13. And he laid his hands on her and Im Im immediately, immediately, she was made straight and glorified God. Immediately, she was made straight. Immediately, she was made straight. So no sooner had Christ touched her she was no longer bent over, but stood upright. No sooner had Christ touched her, she was no longer bent over, but stood upright. Praise the Lord. And as we noted in a previous study, sisters and brothers, uh, that, with, that with rare expectations, all of Christ's healings were done in an instant, in an instant. And we like that especially if we are the afflicted one, right? We, 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 we like that especially if we are the afflicted one, because we want our healing instantly. Mm -hmm. But there is a need to re reciprocate. We like that, as I first stated, especially if we are the afflicted one, but we need to reciprocate. We need to reciprocate. What do I mean by that? What do I mean by that? We all want God's blessings to come immediately, but too often, listen now, but too often our obedience does not come immediately. Can I say that again? We like that especially if we are the afflicted one, if we are healed instantly, but we need to reciprocate because we all want God's blessings to come immediately. But too often, our obedience does not come immediately. Our obedience, unfortunately, is often delayed. Our obedience is often sluggish. Our obedience, our obedience is often incomplete. You see, there is a direct relationship between this woman coming to Christ at his coming or at his command and her healing immediately. Once again, there is a direct relationship between this woman coming to Christ at his command and her healing immediately. 
She did not delay, neither did he. She did not delay coming to Jesus and he did not delay healing her. So we see the promptness of the cure. He laid his hands on her and immediately, and immediately she was made straight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. Let's look at the next point. The power in the cure. The power in the cure. All right. The power in the cure. Im immediately. This is the power in the cure. Immediately. She was made straight. Immediately. She was made straight. You see. Sisters and brothers. These words also demonstrate the power of Christ. Immediately, she was made straight. These words, these words demonstrate the power of Christ. You see, this woman, as the Bible says, had been bound for 18 years. This woman had been bound for 18 years, yet the power of Christ freed her in an instant. To God be the glory. Once again, I mean, that, 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 that begs repeating. The woman had been bound for 18 years, yet the power of Christ freed her in an instant. And let me say this, sisters and brothers, you may be going through something right now. Something may have a grip on you right now. And you may have been dealing with that particular thing for quite a while. But I want you to know that Jesus can heal you. Jesus can deliver you in an instant. In an instant, if you hear his spirit calling you to come to him, don't you hesitate. <laughs> you come to him. Don't you delay. She didn't delay her coming to Jesus when he called her and Jesus didn't delay healing her. He healed her immediately. Oh, my God, look at the power of Christ. Look at his power. You see, what I love about Jesus, what I love about Christ is that he delights working with difficult cases. <laughs> Jesus delights. He, 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 he delights, he, he delights working with difficult uh, uh, situations. And the reason why Jesus delights in working with difficult cases or with difficult situations, for this better shows the greatness of his power. Somebody need to tweet that. <laughs> the reason why Jesus delights working with difficult cases, cases with difficult situations. It because it better shows the greatness of his power. In church, Jesus can heal anyone. Jesus can heal anyone. There's nothing beyond his power, nothing beyond his control, nothing, nothing beyond his ability. He is the sovereign Lord of this universe. And Jesus can heal anybody. 
And more importantly, sisters and brothers, Jesus can save anybody. <laughs> yes, can. Oh my God, Jesus can not only heal anybody, but Jesus can save anybody. Yes, he can. And 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 and, and I got witnesses on on online. I got witnesses on Zoom. Mm. Now, 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 note how he saves us. Note how he saves us. Saves us. Uh, go go to Romans, please. Romans chapter number one. Romans chapter number one. And we're going to look at verse number 16 and, and note what Paul says to the saints at Rome. Romans chapter number one and verse number 16. Jesus cannot own, Jesus can heal anyone, but more importantly, he can save anyone. And this is how he saves us. Yes. Look at verse number four, 16. If you're there, Romans chapter 1, verse number 16. Look what Paul says. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. I am not ashamed of the good news of Christ. Look at this. For it is what? It is the power of God, of God unto salvation. It is the power of God unto salvation. Note, to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. And so God reached out to you through the preaching of the gospel and saved you. It was the power of the gospel. Amen. That saved you because you believed mm. the gospel that you heard. Amen. And God says, there's power in the gospel. There is good news in the gospel. Amen. Amen. For it is the power, listen, it is the power of God um, to salvation. And you can understand why the devil don't want the gospel to be preached. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because the gospel is able to change lives. Yes, it is. It's able to change lives. The gospel is able to bring people out of darkness into God's marvelous light. Marvelous light. It's power. power. It's the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. So once again, Jesus can heal anyone. And more importantly, he can save anyone. All right, we looked at the practice and the cure, the promptness of the cure. Um, we looked at the power in the cure. So now let's look at the product, the product of the cure, the product of the cure. Uh, it, it's right there. It's right there in the same verse. It's right there in the same verse. Uh, Luke chapter 13 and verse 13. Here's the product. Here's the product. Look at, uh, look at the second portion of that verse. She was made straight. She was made straight. In other words, she stood upright. Now, we know she was bowed together. She was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. But when Jesus laid his hands on her, immediately she was made straight. <laughs> she was made straight. She stood upright. <laughs> she stood upright. And sisters and brothers, Jesus 
is ever in the business of making people straight. <laughs> Can I get an amen? amen? Jesus, Jesus is ever in the business of making people straight. Now, I, I often wondered, you know, after, after, after uh, 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 Jesus saved Paul when he was on his way to Damascus, when he saved him on the Damascus road, he, he told him to go to a, a certain street. And, 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 and if you go over to Acts, please, go over to Acts. Let me see what chapter that is. Um, Um, go over to Acts chapter number nine, and we're going to look at verse number 11. And, 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 and I'm just pointing out this, this, this one word, this one word straight, because Jesus is ever in the business of making people straight. Hmm. Now, we all know the story. Saul is on his way to Damascus to persecute the saints, the people of the way. And he encounters the risen Christ as he is on his way to Damascus. Now, I'm not going to read all those verses, but I'm just going to point out uh, of this word. Uh, uh, um, look at verse number, in fact, look at verse 10. Acts chapter 9. And let's begin with verse 10, all right? It says, and there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias, and to him said the Lord in a vision, Ananias, and he said, behold, I am here, Lord. Let me pause here for a moment. Are you always available for the Lord? Amen. I mean, are you always available for the Lord, when he prompts you to do something, are you then available, available to do it? Ananias said, behold, I'm here, Lord. Now look at verse 11. And the Lord said unto him, arise and go into the street, which is called straight. <laughs> mm. Which is called straight. And inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul of Tarshish, for behold, he's, he prayed. Now, now, now I, I know it's a street named Straight, but after Saul had his encounter with the risen Christ, from there on, he's going to walk straight. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's going to walk straight. Well and as I forestated, Jesus is in the business of making people straight. Mm -hmm. You see, you see, sin has made us crooked. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -huh. S -I -N, S-I-N, sin has made us crooked now you might as well include yourself amen because nobody is perfect uh -huh. the bible says all have what sinned and come short of the glory of god mm -hmm. so sin has made us crooked mm -hmm. but jesus can make us straight. Amen. Jesus can make us upright. To God be the glory. To yes. God be the glory. You see, uh, 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 like this woman, we cannot make ourselves straight. Like this woman, we cannot make ourselves straight only jesus can do it because for 18 years 
she was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. So the point is, the point is, like this woman, we cannot make ourselves straight. Only Jesus can do that. Mm -hmm. Only Jesus can do that. You see, our world is filled with crookedness. Uh -huh. <laughs> can you yeah. say amen? Yeah. <laughs> the world that we live in is filled with crookedness. Uh -huh. And it is often and it is and it is often legalized and promoted. Crookedness is often mm -hmm, legalized and promoted. Now, I'm going to say some tough things now, such as gambling, homosexualism, lesbianism, Mm -hmm. Abortion, abortion, yeah, amen, and alcohol. Mm -hmm. All of these are legalized and promoted mm -hmm. because we are living in a world that is filled with crookedness. Mm -hmm. Thank God, thank amen. God, thank God, God sent us a savior. Yes. <laughs> God sent us a savior. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. And he saved us when we heard the good news. Yes. When we heard the gospel. Yeah. And the good news, the gospel is the power. Yeah. P O W E R. It's yeah. the power of yeah. God unto salvation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. His gospel. Mm -hmm. His gospel mm -hmm. delivered us right. out of the yeah. slave market of sin. Yeah. His gospel, mm -hmm. his good news, yeah. brought okay. us out of darkness yeah. into his marvelous light. Yes, sir. Amen. His good news translated mm -hmm. us out of the kingdom of darkness mm -hmm. into the kingdom of his dear son. Yes, sir. The power yeah. of the gospel. And as I first stated, that's why the devil don't mm. want people to hear the gospel. Uh -uh. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Some churches even don't want their pastors to preach the gospel. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> preach, <laughs> preach the news. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> Lord you Jesus. Know? Because the Bible tells us, the Bible tells us, let me let, let, let me let, let me show you the reason why, the reason why the devil don't want us to preach the gospel. Don't that's why the devil don't want you to share the gospel with others, because it's the power of God unto salvation. I cannot say this more enough. The gospel is able to change lives. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will. Amen. The yeah. gospel is able to transform your life. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go to if you go to Second Corinthians, this is the reason why the devil don't want the gospel to be preached or for you to share the gospel with others. Go to Second Corinthians, chapter number four, chapter number four, and uh, we're going to look at verses three and four. Second uh, Corinthians chapter number four, yeah. verses three and four. This is the reason why the devil, who is our adversary, don't want the gospel to be preached, don't want you to share the gospel with others. All right, note what it says. Paul says to the saints at Corinth, he says, but if our gospel be hid, it is here to them that are lost. Mm -hmm. they, they, you see, they are already lost. Mm -hmm. They are already lost. Not going to be lost. Mm -hmm. 
They are already lost. Mm -hmm. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Now, now note who does this. Look at verse 14. I mean, four. In whom the God of this world, small g, that's Satan. He's the God of this world. He's the God of this system. In whom the God of this world, note what he has done have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto him. Satan has blinded the minds of them which believe not. But the thing is, it's our duty as followers of Jesus, it's our duties as children of God, to give the gospel to others, to give the good news to others, because they are not going to be lost. They are already lost. And as I forestated, you know, uh, Jesus is able to make us straight. He's able to make us straight. And once again, Sin has made us crooked. Sin has made us crooked. So in this world that is filled with crookedness, I'm not an exaggeration. You, 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 you got your eyes open. This world is filled with crookedness. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the only answer, the only answer, sisters and brothers, is Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. he is the only answer. Amen. Mm -hmm. He is the only one mm -hmm. who can straighten out the mess the world is in. Amen. Yes, he can. He is the only one mm -hmm. that can straighten out the mess that we're in. Yes. <laughs> Hey, hey, amen. And have been in. Uh -huh. Because prior to him saving us and reaching out to us through the gospel, we were in a mess. Yes, I was. Yeah. We were in a mess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my son. But he reached out to us mm -hmm. through the gospel mm -hmm. and brought us into the mm -hmm. ark of safety. Amen. He brought us into the ark of safety. Mm -hmm. And the ark of safety is none other than Jesus, who is the Christ. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, 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 uh, 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 as I forestated, he is the only one who can straighten out the mess the world is in. And he's the only one that can straighten out the mess that we are in. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we may have new rulers better than previous rulers, <laughs> but they cannot make the world straight. <laughs> yeah. We need help, we need help. Huh? We need, help. We need, we need divine help. Mm -hmm. Because as I first said, the world is filled with crookedness. Mm -hmm. And only Christ, only mm -hmm. Jesus, only Jesus can yeah. straighten out the mess the world yeah. is in only Jesus. Yeah. And people says about Christians, you are so narrow-minded. Uh. You are so narrow-minded. There are other ways to heaven. Uh. Jesus is not just the only way to heaven. Uh. But Jesus said, you, you know, uh, I, I am the way, not mm -hmm. I am a way. All right. He says, I am the way. That's right. The truth mm -hmm. and the life. Mm -hmm. now, 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 note what he said. We read this all the time, but we really don't grab hold to this truth. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh mm -hmm. unto the Father but by. That's me. right. That's right. That's right. Now, how that's that's clear. Yeah. 
The only way yeah. we can get to the Father mm -hmm. is through Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the only way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is the only, the only way. Now that's mm -hmm. the product of the cure. She was made straight mm -hmm. in 1963. Yes. Mm -hmm. When I heard the gospel, mm -hmm. when I heard the good news, mm -hmm. Jesus mm -hmm. made me straight. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was bent yeah. over, bowed, yeah. bowed together because of my transgressions and sin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But when I heard the gospel, yeah. when I heard the good news, yeah. Jesus yeah. made me straight. Yeah. He, 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 he stood me upright. Yeah. <laughs> and not only did he make me straight and, and stand me upright, but he put me in right standing with God. Amen. Yeah. He, 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 he I, I, I am now complete in him. Oh, Woo, yeah. My God, my God, my God. Mm -hmm. Look, look, look. Let, let, let me show you this. Let me show you this. Let me show you this. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, 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 this, this, this is what, this, this is what, uh, Mm -hmm. This is what God uh, uh, did for all of us mm -hmm. uh, when we came to Jesus, mm -hmm. what God made Jesus to be for us. I want you to turn to, um, I want you to turn to uh, 1 Corinthians, mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians, <coughs> excuse me, 1 Corinthians chapter number one, and I want you to look at verse number 30. This is what God has made Jesus to be for us. This is what God, this is what God the Father has, has made Jesus to be for us. 1 Corinthians chapter number 1 and verse 30. <clears throat> First Corinthians chapter number 1 and verse 30. And remember that I said, you know, learn how to read every word. Learn how to read every word in the scripture. Now, God the Father has made us this in Jesus Christ. Know what it says. But of him that is of God the Father are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us. Now, this is what Jesus, this is what God the Father has made Jesus to be for us, who have made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. <laughs> uh -huh. Wisdom mm -hmm. and righteousness mm -hmm. and sanctification mm -hmm. and redemption. Mm -hmm. That's what God the Father has made Jesus oh, to be. Jesus. I don't have any righteousness of my own. Yes, the righteousness that I have yes, is sir. the righteousness of Christ. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I, I, mean, I don't yeah. care how many good works yeah. I do. Now, yeah. now, now let, let me say this. Let me say this. Yeah. Yes, good sir. works cannot save us. All right. But if we are saved, genuinely uh -huh. saved, Faith will produce good works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. good works can't save us. That's right, that's right, that's right. Can't save us. And, and, and so you, God man. has made Jesus to be for us righteousness. Yeah, oh, Jesus. In Jesus, God yeah. has set us apart. Yeah. He is now sanctifying us through mm -hmm. his indwelling Holy Spirit. That's right, that's right. That's right. And then... We have been oh, redeemed. Oh, Lord. Jesus Christ. His blood yeah. redeemed us. Oh, thank you, Lord. Out of the slave market of sin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. He redeemed us. Yes, sir. Through yes, his sir. blood. Yes, sir. Blood. Yes, sir. It's a blood thing. It's a blood yeah. thing. You see the blood from Genesis mm -hmm. to Revelation. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, yeah. You see the blood from Genesis yeah. to Revelation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's now, right. Now, 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 
uh, 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 it, 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 it's a blood thing. It, it, it's, yeah. it's a blood thing. Yeah. Amen. 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 Uh, uh, yes. Go, go to Hebrews. Go to Hebrews. Go, go to Hebrews and, and, and look at chapter number one. Look at chapter number one. It's, it, 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 it's, it, it's a blood thing. Jesus has redeemed us. Out of the slave market of sin. Yes. Right. You see, the children of Israel could not come out of Egypt until the blood of the lamb was slain and put over the top post and the sun on, on the side posts. Mm -hmm. They didn't come out until the blood was shed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. And 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 the only way that we have come out of the slave market of sin yeah. is through the precious blood of Jesus. That's right, that's right, that's right. He bought us. Yes, sir. That's why the Bible said, you are bought with a price. Yes, yes sir. Amen. Therefore, right. glorify God in your spirit and in yeah. your body. Yeah. You have been bought with a price, not with yeah. silver and gold, That's right. but with the precious blood of the Lamb. Jesus. The precious blood of Jesus. Thank you, now, Jesus. Now, 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 look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at first, look at Hebrews chapter mm -hmm. number one. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to zero down on the latter part of that verse, chapter three. That's all I'm going to read. Wait, 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 all right. Wait. Hebrews chapter one, verse number three. But look at the latter part of verse number three. Note what it says. When mm -hmm. he, that is Jesus, mm -hmm. when he had by himself, what did he do? Purge or mm -hmm. cleansed our sins. Mm -hmm. Now, what, now note what he did after he cleansed our sins. He sat down mm -hmm. <laughs> on the right hand of the majesty on high. Lord Jesus. That's God the Father. Now, 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 you see, when you study the tabernacle, yeah. there was no seats in the tabernacle. Yeah. Yeah. Because the priest's work, the high priest's work was never done. Mm -hmm. He could only go into the Holy of Holies once a year. Mm -hmm. And and their blood and their, their, their sins was covered. Mm -hmm. but not taken away right, right, right. their sins right, were covered right, and right, the reason right. why they couldn't sit down because there was no seats all in right. the tabernacle all right all right all right but when jesus yeah died yeah shed his blood yeah rose on the third day yeah went and sat down on a on, 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 on after he purged uh, our sins uh, he sat uh, down sat down That's because sad. his work was Finished. Yes, he sir. sat down on the right and hand. Down on the right hand. Lord Jesus. Good God Almighty. Oh, bless but he Lord. purged us. Bless he cleansed Lord. us with yeah. his blood. Mm -hmm. Right? Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let me see here. Uh, uh, message. I'm, I'm sort of like going to move with this thing here. Um, That's right. Let's let's see. Let me let me get the scripture. Get the scripture. Um, um, yeah. Ephesians. Go over to Ephesians, please. Okay. Ephesians. A lot. Do you know that some churches don't even want to sing about the blood? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> church, some churches don't want to sing about uh -huh. the blood. Uh -huh. It's a church. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Now look at Ephesians chapter number one, and we're going to look at verse number seven. Now, when you look at Ephesians chapter number one, we see the work of the Godhead, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. That's another teaching. I don't want to get over into that. Mm -hmm. But all three in chapter number one is involved in our salvation. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right, now note what it says in verse... Ephesians chapter number one mm -hmm. and verse number seven, it says, in whom mm -hmm. we have redemption. How? Mm -hmm. Through his blood. Mm -hmm. All right. The forgiveness of sin oh according to the riches oh of his grace. <laughs> yes, sir. We, we have redemption. <laughs> we haven't been redeemed by silver and gold. Good God. <laughs> we 
We haven't been redeemed by silver and gold. We have been redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus. We have redemption through his blood. Yeah. The forgiveness of sins is as sin. Jesus. According to the riches of his grace. Yes, God is Lord. rich in grace. Riches. God is rich Lord in grace. Lord Jesus. Woo. Thank yes, you, he Jesus. He is rich. Hallelujah. He is rich in grace. Hallelujah. All right now. Uh, 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 let, 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 me, let me just show you yeah. several other things. Lord Jesus. And then, and then we're going to move on. Mm -hmm. uh, go, go over to... Uh, 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 Hebrews, okay. Hebrews, okay. and um, mm -hmm. we're going to um, look at uh, chapter number nine. All right, chapter number nine, and we're going to look at verse number. 12. Verse number 12. Look at this. Hebrews chapter number 9 and verse number 12. Now, no, no. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, mm -hmm. but by his own blood mm -hmm. he entered in once mm -hmm. into the holy place that's heaven having obtained no eternal mm -hmm. redemption oh, for no. us no. look at verse mm -hmm. number that's a powerful chapter to read look at verse number, mm -hmm. verse number 24 verse number 24 look what it says verse number 24 in that same chapter for christ is mm -hmm. not entered into the holy places made with hands, talking about the old tabernacle and the temple, mm -hmm. which are figures of the true. You know how, because God told Moses to make everything according to what he had seen. Mm -hmm. All right, because it was a figure of heaven. It says, for Christ is not entered into the holy places made with hands, which are figures of the true, but into heaven itself. Mm, my Lord. Good God was I. Now to mm. appear mm. in the presence of God for mm. us. Oh, Jesus. My God. He is, he is now seated at Lord. the right hand oh, of the Lord. Father. Jesus. For us. Oh, Jesus. He is our great high priest. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and when Satan oh, comes Jesus. into God's presence mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and say, uh, did you see what Ham just did? Oh, Jesus. That wasn't like you. That was that was ungodly. Mm -hmm. Did you see what Ham just did? Mm -hmm. And Jesus just reaches over yes, and says, Father, uh -huh. look at my hands. Yeah. Look at my side. Look at my feet. Yeah. Case dismissed. Oh, Jesus. God. Case dismissed. Why? <laughs> Why is case dismissed? Because when Jesus Bless died on the cross, God the Father Bless put him. every sin I will ever commit in my life. Bless me. And he judged Bless. every sin that Gilbert S. Ham Sr. will ever commit in his life. Bless. And now... I'm going to heaven because God has put Christ's righteousness upon yeah. me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He was that wounded for time. our transgressions. All the time. He was bruised for yeah. our iniquities. Yeah. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and Say. with his stripes Say. we are healed. Yes. With sir. his stripes. Yes, sir. Healed. Yes, sir. Healed Thank you, Jesus. with his stripes. Thank we you, Jesus. Are healed. Thank you, Lord. Physically. Thank you. Thank God. We'll go over to chapter Thank number God. seven. 
of Hebrews. <laughs> and and uh, I'm just going to read verse number 25, but this is enough to, to shout you. This is mm -hmm. enough to shout you. Look at this. Hebrews chapter number 25. I mean, I'm sorry. Hebrews chapter number 7 and verse number 25. Look at this now. <clears throat> Wherefore he, that is Jesus, is able also to save them to the uttermost mm -hmm. that come unto God by him. Mm -hmm. Saying, no, he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you not know that right oh, now geez. Jesus my is praying God. for you and for me? My God in heaven. Lord Jesus. That's what the Bible says. He ever liveth to make intercession for us. Uh, although yes. he ever liveth to make. Yes, sir. He's praying for us. And you know what? Jesus' prayers will yes. always be answered. Blessed. Uh, and not only is Jesus praying for us, but the Holy Spirit that dwells in our spirit <laughs> is praying uh, 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 with groanings which cannot be uttered. Yeah. yeah That's yeah. in Romans chapter number eight. When I can't, I don't have words to say. The Holy oh. Spirit kicks in and, and, oh, and, and, and interprets my groans and my moans and, and God <laughs> understands what my groans and moans are saying. The God we serve, my Lord. And I said this before, even when you can't pray, your tears is talking to God. Yeah. Your tears yeah. is saying what you cannot say. God understand the tears that come out of both of your eyes and meet beneath your chin. God says, I know what you're saying. <laughs> because your tears is talking to him. Now, I I'm going to one more thing out of um, uh, out of um, out of Hebrews, and I'm gonna move on. Look at look at chapter number ten. I don't know why I got on this. Well, I'm just I'm just moving with the spirit because evidently the Lord wants me to point out this fact that you know that 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 only Jesus can straighten out the mess that's in us, that's right? And He does it through His blood. That's a good message. Now look at look at uh, uh, chapter number ten. Hmm. Look at chapter number ten. Now, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to begin with verse number four. Hebrews chapter number 10 and beginning with verse number four. Now, now note, what, note what the Holy Spirit says through the writer of Hebrews. He says, for it is not possible mm -hmm. that the blood of bulls and of goats oh, Lord. should My take God. away sin. <laughs> Now you see in the Old Testament when the, yeah. the high priest went into the, the Holy of yeah. Holies once a year yeah. and, 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 and 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 brought uh -huh. the blood of the bulls and, 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 and whatever that that that, that yeah. you know, whatever it might no. be of goats, Jesus God. their blood could Jesus. not take away their Lord. sins. Lord it God. only could cover them for one year. Uh -huh. All right. Now, right. now, note what it said. Note what the oh, word of God Jesus. says. Yeah. For it is not possible. Oh, Jesus. It is not possible mm -hmm. that the blood of bulls and oh, the goats should take away sins. Now, <laughs> this verse, this verse number five, yeah, gives Lord. us a peep into eternity. Yes. This Lord. verse number five gives us a peep yes. into eternity because That's this me. is what Jesus says to the Father. Yeah. This is in eternity. Yeah. Wherefore, when he, that is Jesus, mm -hmm. cometh into the world, he saith, mm -hmm. now he's talking to his father, mm -hmm. sacrifice and mm -hmm. offerings thou wouldest not, mm -hmm. but a body mm -hmm. well, Lord. has thou mm -hmm. prepared me. Yeah. Yeah. He, 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 he looks to the yeah. father and says, wonderful. Sacrifice and offerings. Beautiful. Yeah. Thou wouldest not. Oh, God. Because the blood of bulls and of goats was impossible to take yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what yeah, you have done, yeah. you have prepared a body for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what oh, did the Holy Ghost say to, to, to Mary? Workings in heaven. The Holy Spirit shall overshadow thee. Settled in heaven. And that which is oh, born of thee, Jesus. 
that holy thing that is born of thee will be called the son of mm. God. The Holy Spirit molded mm. Jesus in Mary's womb. Supernatural protection. Gave him a body yes, in the Lord. likeness of yes, sin. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. But he, he was perfect. He was human. He was 100% God and 100% man. Oh, Lord. When he went to the woman, when he sat down at the at, at the uh, uh, pool, uh, uh, the well of, uh, of, of, of Sychar, the woman came and he said, give me a drink because he was tired and thirsty. Mm -hmm. But humanly, he was tired mm -hmm. and thirsty, but he said to the woman, if you knew who I was, I would give you living water. <laughs> that's right, that's right. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, Jesus. As, as man, uh -huh. he fell asleep in the ship yeah he fell asleep yeah but as god yeah <laughs> he got up and said peace yes sir be still yes sir oh you my know, god oh my god look, now, now, now look at this now look at this look at this oh, now jesus verse five is giving us a peep into eternity when he says mm -hmm. to the father yeah, sacrifice yeah. and offering thou wouldest not but a body has thou prepared me oh, if you write, him, write down luke chapter number one and verse number 35 you'll see that mm -hmm. luke chapter number one and verse number 35 all right now look what it says in verse mm -hmm. six in burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin thou has had no pleasure god had no pleasure in those burnt offerings and sacrifices the sacrifices, the blood of the bulls and of goats, etc. He had no pleasure in mm -hmm. those things. But notice that, then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book mm -hmm. it is written of me mm -hmm. to do thy will, O God. Mm -hmm. My See, God. The Bible is a hymn book. Lord, it's, hymn. Mm -hmm. it's all about him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From Genesis to Revelation, yeah, it's all about him. He is seen mm -hmm. in every book of the Bible. Yeah, yeah. in Genesis, he's yeah. the seed of the woman. Yeah. Yes, sir. In Exodus, he's the yeah. Passover lamb. Yes, yeah. I can go on. I can go yes, on. Sir. Yes, he's sir. seen in no, every you book know. of the Bible because yeah. it's all about him. That's why he said, Before the way you know, I come in the volume Before of the, the way written of me to yeah. do thy will, O God. Before the way. If yeah. you're writing, write down St. Luke yeah. chapter number 24 oh, and verse number 44. Mm -hmm. All right. Now look at verse 8. Above when he said sacrifice and offering mm -hmm. and burnt offering mm -hmm. and offering for sin. Oh, thou oh, wouldest Lord. not, neither hast pleasure therein, mm -hmm. which are offered by the law. Then said he, lo, I come to do thy will, O God, mm -hmm. to take away the first, that mm -hmm. he may establish the second. Yeah. Uh, which we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. One for all. Jesus is the yeah. Lamb of God. Jesus Lamb is the God. Lamb Jesus. of God. Now, 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 note what it says in mm -hmm. verse number 12. I'm moving it on. Moving mm -hmm. on. Look at this. Verse mm -hmm. number 12. But this man, talking about Jesus, mm -hmm. after he had offered one mm -hmm. sacrifice for sins mm -hmm. forever, mm -hmm. oh, what did he do? Mm -hmm. Sit down. That's what he did. On the right hand of God. Lord God. <laughs> Lord Jesus. He 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 he, he 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 just right it was just hand. one sacrifice. Lord he Jesus. was the sacrifice. And he 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 Lord he Jesus. sacrificed himself for sins forever. God is good. And after he did that, he sat down. God is great. Because his work was finished. He sat down on the right hand of God. Now, 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 now I'm moving on. Yeah. I want you to go over to John. I want you to go over John. to John. Yeah. Because I want you to see uh, who, who this lamb is. Yeah. I, I, I want you to see who this lamb is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, John, John, chapter number chapter number one, I want you to see who this lamb is. And while you turn in there, I want to uh, see if I can't get another scripture here. Um, all right, now I want you to see who this lamb is. Now remember, they came out of Egypt after they slew a lamb. 
and put the blood over the top posts and on the side posts because God was sending the death angel through Egypt. And the Bible says, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. That's what the simply, that's what Passover means. The death angel passed over every house that was covered with the blood. All right, now, note what it says here. I want to show you who the lamb is, all right? Look at verse number, look at verse number 29. John chapter number one, verse number 29. The next day, John, that is John the Baptist, see if Jesus coming unto him and saith, behold, <laughs> the lamb of God, which not covers, not Covers oh, which taketh away yeah, yeah. the sin of the world. That's right. That's oh, his. If you're writing in your Bible, put that's yeah. his work. His work. That's his work. That that's yeah. his work. He takes away the sin of the world. That's his work. Wait now, if you jump, world. if you jump down to verse number thirty-six, mm -hmm. look mm -hmm. at this. Verse number 36, that's, um, that's because I'm not reading the previous verses. Look at verse number 36. And mm -hmm. looking upon Jesus mm -hmm. as he walked. Mm -hmm. People are always watching you how, you, how you're walking. Yeah. <laughs> it, mm -hmm. said, it, it, it said, and looking upon Jesus as he walked, he said, behold, the Lamb, the lamb of oh, God. Jesus. That's his oh, person. Allah. If you're writing in verse 29, that's his work. He taketh away the sin of the world. In verse number 36, that's his person. He is the Lamb of God. He is right. the Lamb of God. Right. Now, now, now go over to go over to uh, First Peter. First Peter. First Peter. And uh, I want you to look at uh, verse number 18 and 19. First Peter, verses eighteen and nineteen. What chapter? Uh, First Peter, chapter one, chapter one. First Peter, chapter one. I want you to look at verses eighteen and nineteen, and then we're going to look at one more scripture, and, and we're going to close that for tonight before we move on to the next point. Um, First Peter, chapter one. Uh, First Peter, chapter number one. And uh, look at verses 18 and 19. 18. That's why we have to compare scripture to scripture. Mm -hmm. Scripture with scripture. All right. If you're there, 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 18. Know what it says. For as much, and put your name there. For as much mm -hmm. as ye know that ye were not redeemed mm -hmm. with corruptible things. Mm -hmm as silver and gold mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. your vain conversation or vain lifestyle mm -hmm. received by tradition from your fathers, but mm -hmm. with woo, yeah, the yeah, precious yeah. blood no, no. of Christ no, look, as a lamb uh -huh. without blemish oh my God. and without spot. Lord Jesus. Jesus was without blemish and he was without spot. He was yeah. perfect. Oh, have mercy. That's why Jesus yeah, could say this. I always yeah. do yeah. those things that please yeah. my father. Yes, sir. In word, in yes, deed, sir. in yes. thought. He always mm -hmm. did those things God that pleased good. the father. He's God. the lamb. God is worthy. He's I worthy. He's the yes. lamb yes. that gave yes. his life Lord for us. Praise. Yes, sir. All right, one more scripture. Okay. Revelation chapter one. And uh, I'm going to be done for tonight. Right. And if the Lord is willing, we, we get to the next point, the praise for the cure. We got, we were just dealing with the product of the cure, you know, because... Yeah. That's how we got on this blood thing. I mean, you know, yeah. it's the blood we study Bible study. That, 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 that saves us. Right. Bible study. Washes us from our sin. Bible study. 
Cleanses us. <laughs> you know, so what can wash Lord, away my Lord, sin? No. Nothing. Lord God. But the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Yeah, yes, sir. But the Hallelujah. And you know what? Helping him. His blood <laughs> will never lose its power. <laughs> this is yes, 2022. Uh, and Jesus us, died 2,000 years ago, help. and his blood the will never Everything I know his about power. Jesus, empty it out <laughs> so he can restore it. Yes, oh, sir. Yes, Look at sir. Revelation chapter yeah, number one. Uh, Look at Revelation chapter number yeah, one. Yeah. And uh, I want you to look at the latter part of verse number five. Okay. okay. Revelation chapter number one. Yeah. In the latter part of verse number five. Revelation chapter number one. In the latter part of verse number five. Unto, unto him that loved us. Pause here for a moment. Don't you know Jesus loves you? Amen. I mean, don't you really know Jesus loves you? And because he loves you, I want you to see what he did for you and what Amen. he did for me. Amen. Unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Amen. <laughs> yes, sir. He loves us and he has washed us from our sins in his own blood. Thank God for the blood of Jesus. Lord. And remember that I said, I don't know whether it was the last study or the study before, when Jesus rose from the dead, as, uh, as the great high priest, he had to present his blood before the Father. That's why he told Mary, don't touch me. I have not yet ascended to my Father. He had to, we, we, we read that in, 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 in Hebrews, he entered into heaven itself to represent us and he entered into heaven with his own blood. Mm. Amen. And his blood will be there for eternity uh -oh. as a witness to us that it has not been our works. It has not been our righteousness that has gotten us into the Father's presence. It has been his blood. Mm -hmm. It has been his sacrifice his sacrifice on Calvary. Mm -hmm. When we couldn't go to him, I say mm -hmm. it all the time, what did he do? He came Love. to us. Because of our sinfulness, because of our fallen nature, we couldn't go to him. But God so loved us that he gave, I know we hear this all the time, but he so loved us that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. Might be saved. Amen. Amen. And let me tell you tonight, I'm mm -hmm. not bragging, but I'm so glad I'm saved. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I am so glad that I am saved. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Thank God, thank God for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And Father, we just thank you for your word. 
Mm-hmm. And we trust that all that has been said tonight have been pleasing in your sight mm-hmm. and that it has brought you glory and honor. And we thank you for the finished work of Jesus. Amen. Who died on the cross, died on the cross mm. and laid in Joseph new tomb mm-hmm. and was there for three days and three nights. But on the third day, third day. Father, we know that you raised him from the dead. Amen. And he is alive forevermore. He yes. once was dead, but now he is alive mm. forevermore. Mm. And right now, Father, we know he is seated right now at your right hand. Amen. Praying for us. And we know that all his prayers will be answered. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And if the Lord is willing, willing Amen. next Wednesday, we will pick up mm. the next point, the praise from the cure. We're going to begin there next week. We're not going to go through the practice and the cure. We're not going to go through the promptness of the cure. We're not going to go through the power in the cure. We're not going to go through the product, product of the cure. We're going to begin with the praise from the cure. So please be on time. Mm. <laughs> Please be on time. I don't want you to miss anything. Amen. But as I always say in closing, see you in I'll church. see you in church. Amen. Amen. Pastor. Amen. Bless you Thank and you have a good night. Good night, good night everyone. Good night, everybody. Good night. 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 Good night.